Hey everybody, so this is a layout update, and uh, this is, we, I've got actually a fair amount of work done. So this is an abandoned siding. Um, I've started work there, but I'll pick it up later, because I'm starting a, I'm starting a project, which you will see in, later on in the video. So a park, um... I didn't get much work done here other than make a pathway and um, a makeshift parking lot. Christmas tree in the middle. And um, my RC playing club hasn't even, uh, haven't, haven't seen a lot of action. But once I get care, once I get people, it, it should look nice. Um, my town. Sorry, lamp post fell. And, um, the milk truck. And, um, the railroad crossing, grade crossing. Um, my grocery store. My toy shop, my grocery store, my pet shop, my government building, and then the house. And then that, that wood thing, the wood pile is just put there because I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Um, I I did my best with covering almost all my vehicles with snow. That one was the first one I did, and I need to cover those up soon. And the the story behind these are my mom and my dad went to San Francisco, and they um they brought me back this to put on my layout, and so I put it there. It's like a little like. You know, something, something to symbolize. And later on, um, over the summer, I'm going to move to San Francisco. So that's um, something nice to have on my layout. And over there is the hill that I'm going to work on. I'm currently watching uh, other YouTube, uh, other model railroad enthusiasts like I am on how to do this. So, yeah. Um, come around. And my idea here is maybe when I have enough money for it, I might put end scale, end scale here to as like, you know, as like the one seventh gauge railroads that you see. I might put that one around the park. So like it's, it goes around the RC, RC playing club. And I think it's going to start right where Sienna's is standing. So you park and you walk up. And then you walk. You you um, you um go to the locomotive maintenance shop. Take out the locomotive on the road. And I think it's going to go like this. It's going to loop around the my post was 26. Not around the track but next to it. And then it's going to. And then that's going to be a curve. It's going to go around. Go by the trolleys. And then it's, and then it's just going to stop. So basically it's an oval like this one. And I think you just uh, caught a glimpse of my project. So let's go see that. So this is my abandoned railroad project that I'm doing right now. I need to buy more ballast because I'm ballasting the track. And as you can see, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of that. I need to ballast over here and put more tracks. For Christmas, I'm getting more. And for Christmas, I'm getting more tracks to come around here. And then this goes to a switch here. And this is the end of the line, because what I might do is I might add, like, a track going around the lake. That's why I had to take out the the fishing pier and whatever was here. I think it was a platform. So I had to take that out. Then I might do, like, one end here, there's a turn, and then there's a straight going that way. And then there's a turn, and then there's no straight. To symbolize that they ripped up the track here. 
but that's the case with this with the three way switch in H O. It's it looks like I made it so that it looks like it's ripped up. And the story behind these two locomotives here, this is a CS HO CSX dummy unit that I painted up in black and white. So that so that it's not road uh, um road specific, so it's just like there to be there. Paint it because you'll only be looking at this side on the videos. The so the story behind this is that the diesel is waiting to be filled up, and they and since the mining since the mining company mined up all of the ore, they didn't have to, so they just left it there, along with the fuel car. And I did my best weathering the fuel car and the diesel. And right here is the ripped up, the ripped up siding from that three-way track. And, and then this is a double track that goes into here. So it would come out from the mine. Come onto this track. And then these were maintenance tracks for locomotives. Or fueling tracks. And then if you go this way, you'd go to the siding right here. Right here. And they would drop off the ore cars. And then they would put it onto... And then they would put it onto the trucks that used to be here, but that was replaced by a, by by standard gauge track. And that's what my railroad story is about. And um, there's the calling tower. So finally, I have a story for having the calling tower there. Yes, talk about um, a long ways work. I also got the inspiration to an abandoned railroad from Washington. From watching um a video a video of the aban of the um well what's left in abandon of the of the Disneyland attraction in Frontierville and they ripped it up and you can still see parts of it but you'll have to go to Disneyland to figure it out I forgot what the ride was called. But it would be nice if they didn't take it out. That must have been really scenic to see. So yeah. Hope you like this uh, update. And I will keep on updating you when I get more of the abandoned railroad finished. And eventually, I might not be able to get the end scale part right. Right now. But maybe after I move to San Francisco, Cisco over the summer, I might install the end, the end scale project soon. Bye.